Good day. Welcome to King William Rules Everything. Today we have another very exciting product. Uh, this is the uh, Made in China North Pada AC Adapter from the Shenzhen North Pada Technology Company. And you'll kind of be excited to see what this really is. Oh, it is uh, part number X001BA6KSZ. It's a North Pada Raspberry Pi 3 Model B power supply. Charger adapter, 5 volt 3 amp. PSU, micro USB 5 foot width power switch. And it's new. As opposed to an old one, they gave you a new one. And I got a couple of these. But what this is, I believe, is so look at the package. Who puts packages like this together? It's like a foil pack. That's just for a power supply. That's kind of crazy. Let's see if we can open this sucker up. Come on, baby. Give me what's inside. Bam. And look at that. So basically what this is, it's a North Pada... Uh, da -da. Oh, 0.5 amp max output 5 volt uh, 3 amps huh that's kind of confusing there but basically what this is for instead of uh, I've bought uh, just like if you buy a can of kit or uh, the Bill Ross or however you pronounce it you can buy a little uh, pigtail, um, basically this piece with the USB adapter on, and on it, so you can plug it into uh, this fellow. And it it's, extends it about six to eight inches. I'm gonna say maybe eight inches. It's not very long, and gives you a little on-off button. This is the same thing, just a little on-off button, in line with the power supply. So it kind of saves you having from an extra piece, just one little piece. So I'm gonna test this guy out <coughs> on a Raspberry Pi three and see how it does. Uh, I kind of like the idea that it's all one, uh, you know, the power supply and the switch are in it. And because uh, the Raspberry Pi doesn't come with a power switch, you can do some uh, uh, soft power switches. Um, you know, that's was part of the idea behind the Pi was, you know, you can program stuff, add things on that you like to the GPIO pins, but, you know, sometimes you don't want to do that, you just want simple, you know. Most people, they want simple. Uh, on off on off it doesn't get any better than that i know like um, linux and uh, which uh, pretty much the raspberry pi runs um, doesn't like to just be turned off same way with the, uh, most operating systems you're supposed to gracefully shut it down but um, you know if you want to just turn it off turn it on i mean it's still going to be power going into the power supply so but it gives you a nice option you can just shut it off you know instead of uh, it's one of the bad things about the Pi, you know, a lot of people will take the micro USB and pull it out. The problem is that little circuit board for the Pi, you know, you're putting, plug it, unplug it, plug it, unplug it, and there's a lot of stress on that uh, where it's soldered in, you don't want to break that off and then ruin your Pi. I mean, they're not super expensive, but still you, you want to, you know, uh, reduce the stress on that, that port. And uh, Or you can just reach around, find out where it's plugged in, and unplug this guy and plug it back in when you need it, but... That's most likely a pain in the butt because you gotta, you know, it's never where you want it. But I think this is probably the way to go uh, without, you know, doing a soft button, nice hardware button. And uh, I got two of them for some odd reason. But uh, I'm gonna try this guy out and see how it goes. Uh, like I said, I got another one, it's just the pigtail. But it's, you know, it's an extra piece you plug it in. So I'm thinking that's kind of a cool, cool idea. But um, anyway, uh, let's see, where is he at? Oh, here we go. The Made in China, very proud of that too, it's right there. North Pada, Pada AC adapter from the Shenzhen North Pada Technology Company Limited. Oh boy. And uh, I hope that you can see kind of the part number there. If you're interested, there's the barcode. You can kind of, you know, scan it if you want. But uh, I think I got these um, off eBay. And they're, I think they're like $5 a piece, $6 a piece. And I bought the little pigtail um, initially. 
I think I paid, it was like six dollars just for the little the little on off button with the pigtail. So that's kind of a good deal because you get the whole thing, you know. So anyway, I thought I'd uh, share that because it's kind of a, a neat little toy. Anyway, have a wonderful day.